Gamers. How you doing, Zach? I'm alive. I'm alive and in living color. At least somebody is. So, Zach, it's been a while since we did a video on Pro Wrestling Sim. A very long time, it feels like. It's been a couple How of, long of have months. How long it been Yeah, it's, it's been a while. And there's actually been an update to this game today. I haven't seen one since July. And last one was kind of smaller, kind of shorter there. Today's update is big. We got networks. So a couple other small changes here, some experimental stuff. Uh, nothing really outside of the networks that's um, too groundbreaking. Um, but I mean, usually it is the smaller stuff that like adds up and gets interesting, like the modifying game skin here. And then you can also set your preferred resolution every time the game boots up, which is nice and skin. So that's kind of cool. I'm very curious. I almost don't even want to touch this, like, because I feel like I'm gonna break it. You know what I mean? Like, if I yeah. if I play around with this too much, like, you know what I mean? But gonna ruin something. This might be something cool to mess with the hex code, RGB code to change the colors around. Like, if I want yeah. this to be somebody knows what they're green. doing with that. Somebody's gonna be messing around with it too much. But we're gonna be messing around too much with the network deals here. So. They laid the groundwork for networks in the past couple updates. So like I said, it feels like months ago with the networks here. Now, I didn't create these networks. These networks actually, when you boot into the game, it auto-generates a whole bunch of networks. It says, hey, you're playing a save that doesn't have networks, so we're just going to give you a bunch, okay? Which is pretty cool that it does that. But I actually like being able... I, I think that's something really cool with PWS is like with the arenas... Like the Jericho Cruise and like yeah. uh, Hammerstein yeah. Ballroom, stuff like that. You can see the pictures of that. Yeah. So that's something that would be cool if there was a network pack. I feel like majority of the stuff here has where you can import networks. I, uh, I did just gimmicks. look at what my, uh, there's an October database that's floating around, probably on Be the Booker with working networks. So. Or PWS? Because I yeah, have a, we're about. yeah, I have, I have a um a who database that said it had a couple of networks in here, so I was like kind of curious yeah, what there is what around one. has cool. stuff and pictures. I want yeah, uh it also does have pictures. Yeah, I want actually match gimmick importer because there's none of that. That's on a side note here, but. For networks, though, yeah, that'd be cool to have the pictures and everything. You got mm -hmm. network name, status, all this stuff here. Um, the availability and the country breakdown, which is cool. So if you're like, hey, we only show in Canada. We don't show in America. Or if you're like, we show in Alabama. We don't show anywhere else but Alabama. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's the Alabama local stage. It is Alabama Backyard Wrestling. <laughs> Shout out to Scooter. It is only in Alabama. So if you want to get very detailed you can in this which is it's cool it's you know it's as crazy as you want to make it so in the network deal section here left side we have the active deals right side we have existing shows with no deals let's go view network real quick and we can see we can filter out the size of the network so if we only want to show little little tiny baby little tiny baby networks even little huge networks uh, the content library. I'm actually curious how much the content library matters. Yeah. I wonder if it's just like a fun thing. I don't know or... how going to end up being. I don't know. Like the network. So these have the same content library, but the size of the network matters more in terms of like that. Uh, the minimum viewership. So I wonder if they're still going to pay around the same. You know what I mean? I could see. I don't know. Probably. I guess we'll, we'll see how that kind of works down the line. So we have TV, pay-per-view, and there's nothing for online that was generated, which is interesting. I feel like we should at least. It's kind of like with um when the venues came out, we didn't get any venues with like... Uh, I draw a blank real quick. Let's actually go here, look at it in one of these venues. Events... No, it's not events. Where am, where am I looking at, Zach? Venues, here we go. Yeah, like, uh... 
to the types. Like we didn't have any in like the beach or cruise ship. Like those were yeah. really cool to start off, like generic ones. It's kind of like a hidden, like, oh, we got this in the background. If someone makes it. It's just mostly indoor and outdoor. But these ones I think are really cool. It's unique, especially for this game. Just like, I wouldn't say network online is unique, but it, it should at least be there and generate, in my opinion. Um, mm -hmm. But let's go here. Let's go North America. Let's give us a, uh, a pay-per-view deal to start off and make sure it's at least huge. And they're going to be willing to give it, so they're saying they're going to give it to us. We're WCW, so we're huge. You know, we're big anyways. We're big 2028 for the Immortals, whatever. So yeah. we'll go uh, Whiplash pay-per-view. Uh, a shout to Whiplash. I saw that movie a couple of days ago. Content type, traditional wrestling show. I wonder if this actually changes around. Okay. Hmm. So, there was a lot of just random drop downs that don't lead to anything yet. For now, yeah. Events, monthly, annual premium. So I can say specifically for this event. So, like, if I only want this network, if I only want the Alabama Backyard Wrestling Network to showcase Halloween Havoc, it's an exclusive. I can do that. So that's cool. Like, a, a network exclusive event. Yeah. But I'm curious, we'll have to see if they, they like yell at us and conflict. Well, so uh, start date immediately. I guess that makes sense for pay-per-view? I don't know. I guess we'll see. Uh, maybe we'll end up with like a GCW situation where we have to do... Uh, what, what are those events called? Uh, the... the... <sighs> I'm sorry I put Dang. you on the spot. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry I put you on the spot. We were talking about it so yeah. heavily. It was like... Um... Oh, not the, is it the fight network the settlement series the settlement series yeah we're like it's a, the settlement series one and it's an it's Good an one. empty arena local talent only you know contract length we can do up to five years it's i wonder if i can do five years we'll see cost for show 35k income per viewer 15 dollars okay accept deal and yeah so we can't renegotiate until 30 days before expiration for that. And let's view network and let's go to TV. And we'll do uh, ECU TV. Um, and we'll go negotiate traditional monthly annual premium events. Actually, we'll do it just for Nitro to show up as it's only going to be a TV deal just for Nitro. You know what I mean? So yeah. contract length. We're giving it five years also. Or let's do six months. Is this shown live? Yes. Okay. Primary air day, Mondays. Prime time. We have morning, afternoon, early evening, prime time. And I guess it's already pulling that information from the event itself. Yeah. Uh, I would average do. viewership and potential viewership. Um, and like the income per show. Nice. Okay. Not really. Um, let me go back here real quick. Minimum viewership, okay. So I don't see a thing where it's telling me, like, hey, you have to have a minimum of this, like, rating, or we're going to kick you off the air. So if I go and book the event, I'm not going to actually book it. I'll just auto-book it. It doesn't show, as far as I can tell. I auto-book, okay. And hopefully it'll actually book all my time. Um, maybe if I go to, so the network deal for, this is Nitro. Okay. I was making sure it's Nitro. Yeah. And if I go to events, I go to Nitro and edit it. See if there's anything here that's telling me. About the network. I don't know if it's necessarily needed to put it on here on the right side, but let me see. Let's start the show and see if it tells me anything. So it doesn't like it's telling me anything here on the show either. That might just be like an interesting thing to say. Like, I don't know if you need to say it from like this screen, but maybe when we get to the end of this show here, look at that uh, the Hollywood Hogan and Lenny Lane segment. 
Beautiful. Uh, Damn, the main event. Main event. You got a nice hundred block, and then everything yeah. else just kind of hit the ground. So it doesn't say anything about where the show is from. I feel yeah, like. It, 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 I mean, it doesn't different. even do that anyways for the event like location. I feel like it should like on the screen say Nitro from the Hammerstein Ballroom live yeah. on ECU TV network or whatever. You know, because we do have this going on down here with like the show rating and popularity gain. You might as well just add that little section at the top. Just kind of squeeze it in there. Also, um, I mean, there's enough empty space going on in the middle area. You can kind of shift some stuff if you really need be. Um, so there we go. I went and I uh, I did that show. So I'm actually going to pause real quick here because I imagine all the... Or maybe it'll be done by the time I'm talking. But maybe all the um, companies are actually going to go and try to get their, their TV contract. deals. So I imagine it'll take it actually longer right now because this is the first day. Literally within a few seconds, I'm hitting pause and pause. It was done. So yeah, you can see signed broadcasting deals. There's a nice million and one, as to be expected. It's like first day hirings. You know, it actually didn't take that long going through all these broadcasting deals. Um, I wonder if so. I can go to the database to check network deals here. So like, where, what's going on? What the AI is thinking? How it's doing stuff here? Um, so I can check that out. But let's go to Thunder. And I don't know. Network deals. I don't know how to process. So actually, you know what? Let's go and let's make a uh, an event. WCW. The settlement series. All right. Um, event status active. Whatever. It's an annual event. January, you know, it was third Saturday. Great event. Yes. What is it? Did I get it close? I feel like it wasn't even close. I'll pause that and add that in here real quick. Okay, so we're here. We're at the settlement series. And honestly, Zach, it doesn't look like it's going to make any real you know difference, difference. so no, I... also did the screen change i feel like this just changed yeah no that's yeah. definitely wrestlers personalities but when you click on them and they show you the uh it sends takes you, you to the thing. yeah it takes you to the thing and look at that it takes me straight to the storyline i wonder if this takes me I think this is going to take me straight to my finances oh my goodness it yeah. does hey that's it does, it does the thing that's nice yeah so oh wait if I click this, okay, it doesn't. I was curious if it would create a filter and take me directly to my roster, but it actually doesn't take me to my roster. What's going on, guys? That's unfortunate. These work, though. But So I booked Nitro. Uh, yeah, like I said, it doesn't actually have like a thing on the booking screen where it says where it's from in terms of like the networking. But I know that, hey, this network is with... Uh, the deals with this ECU TV North American network here. And I wonder if I go to the event history. I go to the latest. Last uh, Monday, right? We did Nitro. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that zero attendance, zero total viewers. I wonder if that's just because. Wait. No, that's uh, that's today's. So let's go to last week's. Hold on. Da -da 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 -da. Where's Nitro? There we go. So there's our viewership. Here it is. TV network. So I imagine if we had different networks, I don't think anybody else, that's uh, anyone else really. So yeah, so we see that because Thunder is not a premium event, it doesn't have any viewers. Like people still showed up. They just got to watch it on tv because it doesn't have yeah. its tv deal you know our deal is strictly for uh, and you can see there's a ton of networks for this dragon gate you know what i mean so if we go to networks and we can see that yeah 
are nitros exclusively for the TV Northern Network. Uh, the pay-per-view deal is for that. And if we did go to here and we went to TV, we could make this for all of the events. Um, all the TV events. So that's something we can do. Why don't we go here? We're going to book our... Uh, our angle here, our promo, where it's uh, Bill Goldberg, 30 minutes spewing off randomness. And uh, hopefully you guys loved it. You guys loved it. You ate that stuff up. John loved Ooh, it. He said, awesome. he said, that's my favorite wrestler. Good Bill show, Goldberg. John. It's the one-man Bill Goldberg show. Yeah, I, I think it's actually 29 minutes of the security guards waiting outside of his locker room. This is perfectly how WCW would do a settlement series. 29 minutes, security guard sitting there outside his locker room. Very last minute, they knock on the door. He opens up the door, and he shuts it. That's exactly <laughs> what went down. So let's see if the networking is working how it should be. And it will show us the... Uh, not the awards and rankings. The event history for um, the settlement series in whiplash there we go Eight hundred sixteen thousand people lost their money seeing goldberg lost their money. which oddly enough i feel like a lot of people said that too back in the 90s and early 2000s but that's besides the point hope you guys enjoyed our little video with pro wrestling sim checking out the uh the network deals i think just like with most things with pws it adds some flavor to the game. It doesn't become like a do or die, like, oh, now I need to have a network or else I'm screwed out. I can't play the game, you know? I just spent another three hours learning how to set this up. If you want to set it up, you can do it. If you don't want to, you don't have to. I think it's because money, finances, isn't like the biggest stressor with a game like PWS. It's more arcadey. It's still a booker, but it's more like a financial burden you know yeah. trying to trying to balance that every single time you play um but yeah what's your take on it um i don't think it's going to make a insane difference i think it's a nice little addition i think it helps add a little bit of realism to the dealio and that's, that's what i'm looking for in my booking games yeah it shows around here on the side on the news of like that's you cool. know, we got this many viewers on ECU TV, this I many on the news getting very clumped up and all that because of that, though. Yeah. So, like, this right here, where it says Sorry. Raw was blank from Oceana, I think maybe consolidating this to where uh, we have just Raw is held. And then from Raw is held, you have the, the breakdown to um, the different like networks it's a part of here yeah. so because like you said this could get very quickly clumped in the news and i don't know if that data is being stored in the background and that might slow down eventually long term yeah. i don't know so it's just it's more on the technical side but like you said yeah it just get a little clumped up i personally mr pws man if you're listening uh i love how we got the network importer I, that's great i think it's a big thing especially with the worker gimmick importer stuff like that is essential we got to get the match gimmick ones in there and even we got pictures for the networks just similar to the uh venues which is dope i'm like i'm gonna love that just being like oh my gosh i can be on you guys like the stupid like playboy network or cartoon network you know when you see that logo and you're like i have a wrestling show right next to looney tunes or something stupid you know yeah so that's fun you know but match gimmicks i feel like they should have a picture too they'd be kind of cool to have like a ladders <laughs> ladder ladder pngs ladder gifts ladders <laughs> ladder gifts and worker gimmicks you could have unstable and then put like john moxley's face going like crazy you know so, <laughs> i heard the guy that does the uh, jim Cornette drawings to draw all these you know that'd be funny great idea so that does it here for the PWS network. Uh, as always, like, share, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for uh, more PWS content and live streams. I like streaming more than just recording, but it's nice to take a step back and just do a little recording with you, buddy, on these videos here. Um, you know, I like I like keeping myself on my toes and reacting with the streams and whatnot. But it's gonna about wrap it up here today. And uh, as always, everyone. 
stay safe, and uh, until next time, goodbye. Deuces.